What kind of a world do we live in where the iPod is now going head to head with Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft with video games that cost less than parking your car for 20 minutes? It's the world we live in today. And it's a good thing because it means diversity. Smaller, quirkier, more experimental titles can flourish on the iPod, where they don't on other game consoles, because the barrier to entry is much lower. Bubblehead is a small, quirky, fun game. It may not be anything experimental. If this game was blockier and had a black background, it would be like an awesome Atari 2600 game that uses the paddle controllers. And just look at this guy, Bubblehead. He's not a space marine or any other cliched hot chick wearing jeans and armored vest and holding machine guns. Bubblehead is like an old school game character. Why he may as well be a drunken lumberjack. Bubblehead is very simple. You're trying to get through each level as fast as possible without running into things. Collecting stars along the way. You steer Bubblehead by tilting the iPod left or right. You have full analog control over this steering. I'm using my thumb on the top right of the screen to push on this screen which acts as the gas pedal. Now that's more of a digital control, that's an on or off, so you are either accelerating or falling. Each level in Bubblehead gets progressively more difficult, and there's a random mode which just drops stuff in front of you for you to navigate, and it's like no two games are ever the same. The game is addictive, beware. Maneuvering this guy in tight spaces is difficult. You have to watch out for accelerating up into something, steering too far one way or the other. For those of you who like old school games and arcade games, you've seen something like this. It's a lot of fun, and they take a very simple concept and run with it here. It works quite well. I like the graphic style. There's no fancy soundtrack or anything, but for just a pocket full of change, what else could you ask for? This is a fun pick-up-and-play kind of game that you can just challenge yourself repeatedly. And the guy's name is Bubblehead. I don't believe this game has a story, but that means you can make one up. I'm going to just go out on a limb and assume this guy was kicked out of the Scrubbing Bubbles team. That's on the side of the bottles that cleans uh, mildew out of showers or something. Maybe he was born without the scrubbing thing on the bottom of him, and uh, that gives him the ability to accelerate through levels full of pizza and video game controllers. You see, now that's the kind of story that they would have printed in an Atari 2600 instruction manual 30 years ago. It's no less plausible than Frogger. Bubblehead is challenging to film, but very easy to pick up and play. If you like what you see on screen and enjoy Atari 2600 games where you're dodging things with paddle controllers, give Bubblehead a try.